both got strawberry milkshakes, Mom. There's strawberry. What's in there? Milk, mm -hmm. strawberry, and yogurt, and protein. Yeah, what's in it? Orange juice. Yeah, orange juice too. I made I made my milkshake all by myself. Really? No help. All by yourself? Yeah. Dad helped me to put that <laughs> yogurt in there. Cool. You'll be cooking in no time. Hi everyone, so welcome back. It is Tuesday, January 27th, and today I am doing our taxes. So um, I gathered up all of our social security cards. I'm using TurboTax. I've used TurboTax uh, when Chris was deployed. And then last year, I think we went in and did them on post. And then this year, we're going to do them again um, on TurboTax and figure out if the amount seems about right. And I think they charge $34.99. Um, when it's a little bit more extensive. Uh, Chris didn't have to work today. He was supposed to work today. Today is Kayla's last game of the season, and she still thinks that uh, Chris still has to work. She's not home yet, but she does have early dismissal, so when she gets home, um, we're not any, we're not going to tell her that Chris doesn't have to work. We're just going to make her assume that Chris just missed uh, PT this morning and then see her reaction when she finds out that Chris switched his schedule so he could make Kayla's last game. So anyway, that'll be a really great surprise for her. We're here at Kayla's last basketball game of the season. Probably going to get a lot of hate for my Raiders beanie considering I'm in Seahawk territory. Um, but we're gonna try and record as much as we can and take as many pictures so you will see a little bit of Kayla's game. And we are headed in. Oh, and we've been all season, we've been making snacks and I've been stuffing them in my purse to take inside the game. And I even got cheese sticks in here somewhere. I want cheese sticks. So uh, we will see you inside. She's a Ralph. <laughs> At post, she's a six foot junior, number 42, Jackie Gutierrez. Now let's play some basketball. No. Go, go Maddie. Nope. Oh. There he is. Grab it. Go. Good job, Kayla. Go, Lana, go. Uh-uh. We don't shake that thing. Hit the ball down, Lana. Same shot, Kayla. So here we are at Taqueria Los Amigos. If you haven't tried it, I think you, I might have already put this in a vlog, but it is in South Hill on Meridian next to a 76 gas station. <laughs> taco truck, taco bus. <laughs> Christopher enjoying his carne asada. Carne asada tacos. Yum. Mm. <clears throat> Want this one? Yeah. You know. We just ate some amazing tacos. And they're double tortilla rolled. So in case you drop any of your meat, you get an extra taco. But anyway, it's delicious. I recommend it. So if you're in the area, go check it out. They have a, I think, $5.99, like five tacos plus a free soda for $5.99 and, or $6.99, $5.99, $5.99. $5 .99.
and it's pretty amazing so thumbs up for that and Chris just could only have four and he was full and the kids have a quesadilla but Andreas passed out in the back and we're headed out to the grocery store because we need milk <laughs> Okay, so um, how many of you guys despise biscuit containers? These things scare me every single time I open them. Anyone else? You making breakfast? This little guy woke up at 10.15 this morning. He slept 12 hours. <laughs> See, he was tired, huh? Yeah. You're tired? Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. You know why you're, why you're sleeping so much? Yeah. Because you're growing. Because you're uh -oh. getting ready to be five. Uh oh. Hi, everyone. So, welcome back to January 30th, Friday. I just got back from the grocery store. It was like we needed pretty much everything. So it was a huge grocery run, but at the same time, I really didn't spend too much. Um, for a family of five, I try to keep it under like 350 a month for a grocery budget. Uh, we tend to spend less than that if I can shop smart. I don't shop with coupons, um, but I do shop when there's really great deals on meat, especially because the ground turkey we normally eat is around 10.98 for two pounds, and today it was for 4.88 for two pounds, and um, I picked up like three packages right away because uh, it can get pretty expensive, especially since we don't really eat ground beef, um, and we cook a lot with ground turkey, so we scored on that. I'm out of breath because I just carried all the groceries upstairs. I was kind of hoping Kayla would already be home from school so she could help me, but her bus was running late, so she's going to be late, and I have to go pick up Alessandro at 3.40, so I only literally have 30 minutes to put everything away and to... Uh, split the meat and put it in Ziplocs to put it in the freezer. So I'm going to try my best to get all of this done. I didn't really vlog yesterday on Thursday. I'm not sure why. Not too much was going on. Um, I redid our taxes yesterday. I used uh, Tax Layer, which one of my friends recommended. And I actually got more back on federal than I did on TurboTax and it was completely free. TurboTax tends to charge you $39.99 if you want the insurance and if it's like a complicated tax preparation but uh, TaxLayer is free for military so if you're looking for an at-home tax program highly recommend them. Uh, so I did that pretty much yesterday try to get all of our paperwork and everything to itemize all that good stuff. So um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, tonight I have an event to go to at the church. Well, it's for mops, but it's really a game night for moms, and then the kids get to go to daycare. So it's kind of like a break for moms to go play games with other moms and meet new people. I'm excited about that. I have never been to an all-women's game night, um, but I do want to start doing more activities like that to get out into the community because I have friends who are mostly military um, who don't live off post but I want to get to know other moms um, as well. Two cheese, two chocolates. <laughs> so you have more cheese? I have two ones and this is not much. Just one yeah. and one and two, two. So you're missing a cracker and a ham? But I ate the cracker all. <laughs> mm. You like Lunchables? <laughs> Do you like Lunchables? I need Lunchables. Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned earlier this week about a mop um, swap 
this Wednesday, this past Wednesday, and I snagged these beauties. I don't know where I'm going to hang them yet or place them, but I'm thinking about redoing them into a cream color since everything in my dining room is pretty beachy. Hi everyone, so I am recording currently on my kitchen counter because uh, this is the quietest place right now and the boys are getting ready to go to sleep. But I just got back from the Mops game night at um, our local Mop group and it was pretty fun. Um, I got there, it was a little awkward at first because I didn't know anyone, but by the end of the night, like our whole group was like a blast. And so I think we're going to try and find each other on Facebook so we can get together outside of the Mop group. But tonight I brought... Um, some assorted strudel bites so yum um, I actually haven't had any I tried a dip um, a several dips and they were really good so um, that's all I had I didn't really have a meal for dinner so I'm kind of hungry right now and I'm gonna look for something to eat but overall I had a lot of fun we played Pictionary we also played gestures or gestures I'm not sure how to, how to pronounce it and then I think a game called The Pit, um, but um, those are several games that I've never played before and it was so much fun. So hopefully we can get together again and have game night with the Mops ladies because it was, it was pretty fun. I had fun. It was from like 6.30 to 9 p.m. and childcare was provided. So I'm going to try and find other groups to join where um, it makes it possible for me to go do things. Uh, while the kids are also having fun. So Kayla is on her very first sleepover that she's ever had um, as a high schooler. So she met several girls on the basketball team this year and uh, she's hanging out with one of the basketball girls tonight and I'm gonna go pick her up tomorrow in the morning. It feels kind of strange not having her here but um, I'm glad she's having fun and um, socializing with kids her age so uh, tomorrow the boys have a basketball game um, and bad news is I thought Chris was gonna have days uh, coming up in February and they switched they didn't switch his schedule they kept his schedule so he will be working nights again um, which means I hardly will ever see him in February um, January I hardly saw him he worked He's been working about 13 to 14 hour days and by the time he comes home the kids are already sleeping and by the time the kids go to school he wakes up so he hardly gets time with the kids unless it's his day off. So Chris is also in college so he's been pretty busy and then baseball season is coming up. Kayla just finished her basketball season, so we are basically waiting for her to start softball, which will be sometime in March. So, yeah. Um, it's been pretty fun. I just realized that we just always have something going on. I don't always take my camera with me, though. I, I'm starting to think I should um, start vlogging more. I know some people are still, still uncomfortable with it, but... I like it but I always ask first or let people know that I'm recording if I am recording so I'm gonna try and get this vlog up sometime this weekend and work on it today and or tonight it's already gonna be 10 o'clock so I had some coffee at uh, game night but it was decaf so I'm still feeling a little bit tired um, and it was super delicious because they hook it up <laughs> they have like special creamers and hot coffee and water it like it's so much fun just um, being able to relax and hang out with other ladies who are in the same situation um, not necessarily all military but all moms of preschoolers and um, just moms moms in general and I don't know I just like it I do I like it so um, I'm supposed to be setting up more play dates uh, with other women in my area. I've just been kind of branching out so I can meet more people because we do plan on staying here for the long haul, crossing our fingers. Um, obviously, with the military, things change. We could still get PCS orders. We have officially have 
been living in Washington for three years already. Uh, we moved here January 26th of 2012. So um, that's that was last week. So I totally didn't even remember <laughs> till right now that we've actually been here for three years, which is amazing. Um, we love Washington. We don't really want to go anywhere else, but um, Chris has a chance of going to other places um, in or order to, I guess, further his career. He doesn't really want to go anywhere. Um, we really do just want to stay here in Washington. We've just really made it home. Uh, the kids are really comfortable here. Kayla's um, okay with her high school, and the kids are, you know, well, Alessandro's in kindergarten, and he likes his school, so... Yeah, and I like all the groups, and I like the church that we belong to, and it's just so hard to leave that. Um, we have really good friends here, too, and I know maybe someday they're going to get orders and have to move away, and that's going to be sad, but obviously that's all part of being in this military lifestyle. So, um, again, you know, I've just been kind of branching out and meeting new people and just... Um, getting out of my comfort zone, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we were going to watch the Seahawks, but I think Chris is going to, going to work. He's going to work that night, so I don't think he's going to be able to watch it. Um, I'm not really a big fan of football. Uh, people ask me, too, like, Okay, you're, you live close to Seattle. Why are you not a Seahawk fan? Because now you live in the state of Washington. Um, in general, I'm not really a huge football fan. Um, we sort of go for the Raiders um, by default. Chris is from California. He grew up watching more football than I did. Um, but people think it's kind of strange that I haven't become a Seahawk fan because we live in Washington now. But um, not that I hate the Seahawks because I don't. Um, I just don't know anything about the Seahawks. So, someone educate me. Um, but nonetheless, uh, go Seahawks and go football and go Super Bowl. Um, I will probably watch the game for the commercials and for the halftime show. But that's probably about it. I'll do it probably just for the hype. But anyway, um, I'm going to make some hot chocolate, I think. and Or milk, I don't know. And I might have one of these bad boys. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful night and weekend. I will probably vlog this weekend and start posting more often. I just didn't want these vlogs to become repetitive and just um, the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.